Earlier this year, I came upon a rather unique product while browsing on a barefoot running forum. They were pretty cheap, so I decided to get a pair and see if they were worth making a review about. Turns out, they definitely are. The product that I'm talking about are these toe sock shoe hybrid things. If you're watching this review, there's a decent chance that you're familiar with the outdoor sock market, but I had never seen any that had individual toes. So when I found out that they existed and existed for under $20, I had to give them a shot. Now, as soon as they came in the mail, I already saw a bit of a red flag, which was that the material that they use here for the soles were flaking off in the package. To me, I could only expect that if that had happened in transit, that when you're stomping around on dirt and rocks and all kinds of other stuff, that the thing's gonna fall apart quick. I thought, if this is any indication, maybe I get a month, month and a half out of these things. But I couldn't have been more wrong. I've been wearing these now for months and months and I cannot see any visual wear on these soles at all. The one issue I did have with these things was the sizing. When you go to the website, at first it can seem very simple. You can see this chart. I'm going to size 10 US. It tells me that translates to a size 43. Simple, right? Except for it's not. Because then they also give you information so you can check if you measure the size of your foot and see what size they suggest. But that measurement results in a very different answer to what size you should be ordering. In my case, I was somewhere between a 39 and a 40. I decided to kind of go in the middle and I ordered a size 42. When I got them, I realized that it was workable, but definitely they were a little bit big. Given that they were only $20, I decided to follow the instructions of the actual foot measurement thing and get a size 40 and see how that worked. And it worked out great. That was really the way that I needed to go. That said, the sizing that's listed on the shoe isn't the same format that it is on the website, which makes things even more confusing, really. Now, on the, on the shoe that I ordered that was a 40, it says size 39 to 40. And on the original, when I ordered a size 42, is 41 to 42. So I don't know, if I had decided that a size 42 wasn't the right size and I wanted to go down to a 41 and I ordered that, would they have given me the same exact size again? So yeah, I don't really know exactly how this range versus full size thing works. If the different sizes have overlapping numbers or if you order a size 41 or a 42, if you get the same thing. Either way, I would advise for you to go by based on the length of your foot measurement, even though it will recommend a shoe size that's a lot smaller than you normally wear. Once I got the whole sizing thing figured out, then it's been great. The one thing I will warn everyone about is that they are very, very, very not waterproof. If there is the tiniest bit of moisture that gets above the rubber line on your shoes, it's going into your feet real quick. But outside of that, the grip on loose sand, rocks, even ice really wasn't too bad. So it's been great, like I said, unless you're in a wet condition, then you're definitely gonna feel the moisture immediately. Now when I can, I prefer to walk actually barefoot. But during the winter months, it can be kind of dangerous if you mess around with that in the wrong temperature. So these things have been the closest that I have found to being barefoot now, I will put out there, I have not had the five finger shoes before. They might actually be slightly closer to being barefoot because the sole thickness or the whatever you want to call it, the rubber stuff on there is probably thicker by a little bit than the rubber that's used on the five fingers. But I wasn't really trying to put down a hundred plus bucks to get the, uh, get those shoes. So, for somebody on a budget, at least, it's definitely the closest that you can get to walking barefoot. Now these things really don't have a name as much as it's just a string of keywords. So I'll just put the link in the description so you can find them. 
beware if you wear them into a store you might get some looks i wore them out in public and i got a look from somebody and i think they thought that i forgot to put my shoes on so just uh know that not everyone's gonna think they're as cool as i do probably from a visual aspect at the very least but uh if you've got the confidence to wear them out in public then more power to you so that's about it just a random find online and it's been a great addition to the lineup that I have of different shoes to wear for different occasions. And if you like to walk barefoot but can't because of the weather or some other reason, I think these are an excellent option.